Hi, my name is Peach. Let me not waste your time. Uh, the shake I'll be teaching you to do is based off of Ren X Den's or Brendan's uh, shake tutorial. Link in the description. First thing I want to do is add an adjustment clip onto the timeline. I use my own adjustment clips that I put away in my power bin because sometimes they glitch out on me on the regular effects. So I'm just gonna drop that in. So first thing you want to do is do your transition. You know, the simple zoom out. Then what you're gonna wanna do is shift space. You're gonna go to your type in camera shake. And you're gonna hit the second camera shake. You don't hit the first one. The second one has all the controls that you need. Click it, drag it in. You're gonna go down to this box and hit reflect. You're gonna zoom out. Go to the start of the clip, keyframe the motion and speed. Go to the end of your clip, keyframe the motion and speed again. Drag them down to zero. Turn on motion blur, go back to the start, then keyframe your speed and motion to two. Then you're gonna bring your, your pan altitude all the way down, your tilt altitude all the way up. Then you're gonna put your PATR speed, which is the X and Y frequency, up to about 8.5. That's where all the money happens. And now you have this kind of shake. Which isn't ideal, but now we're, we're gonna edit it more. Now you're gonna go to your spline, which is your easy ease graphs. Smooth them out. I want to do this kind of curve. Just play around with it, see what you like. Now what you're going to do is copy the node and paste it back in. And you're going to put it on your node graph. So there's two camera shakes. And now you have this kind of shake. that I'm doing right now wasn't the best. Here's one I did earlier. These the curves are way much better, so you should try and use those. This is how it looks. On the second camera node, go to your PTR speed, bring it down a little bit than the original camera. I also suggest putting in a directional blur node. Doesn't matter which one. Set the angle to 90 degrees. And you're gonna adjust the length slider, however you want. Keyframe it. And adjust the curves. Now you got this type of shape going. And after that, you can do whatever effects that you want to it. Add a little flicker, some bars. Now once you're done with all your effects, go back to your camera and transform nodes and go to this tab and click motion blur. Click the shutter a couple times, see where you like it. And now you got this. Now in other tutorials, they like to use S-Shake and S-Shake doesn't usually work well with the Fusion node or with the Fusion page. So kind of stray away from it. You can see as like right here, there's a bunch of glitches. It's just not, good to work with so that's why i use the regular shake and yeah hoping you enjoyed hope it was helpful let me know in the comments if you would, would like to know anything else what's your zodiac sign do you think i'm fine am i wasting your time wait because you looking divine do you want to be mine no i see it is fine okay she got me slipping and sliding she ho rush she riding she closing her eyelids she feel just so right. you know i'm a leo i'm worth like two people that makes us a trio ideal all right